Uh, are you really watching yourself on TV again? No. What's going on guys? Well, if you couldn't tell from the intro scene, guys, after the Texas Metal episode, everything got a bit crazy. The two car garage just wasn't cutting it anymore. So, we had to modify. Guys, now we have a bigger shop. We're still here in Kingwood, Texas, which is, you know, just north of Houston. So, with everything that's happened over the last year, I didn't really get to shoot as much YouTube as I really wanted to. For one, we just didn't have the space. I got that covered. Second, we were so busy knocking out cables, trying to help everybody. So we did what anybody would do. We went through growing pains. We got some extra people in with us now. And things are still cranking and busy. But now we have a new shop here in Houston. This is gonna allow us to do way more YouTube, do installs, and do the whole series like I've been talking about for two damn years. So. You know, was it getting a shop easy? No, I had to look for months to find something that was gonna fit what we needed to fit. Of course, when you have a business partner like Travis, it's kind of like having a stepbrother. I mean, if you wanna know what it's like working with Travis here, this is what it looks like. Hey, it's your fault. You know what your problem is? You live in a fantasy land. You refuse to get a job and you don't even know what it's like to work for something. You don't take responsibility for your actions, and that's why this is all your fault. Well, you're a mama's boy who's too chicken to sing in public. You're alive, oh I my know. God. I'm alive. Ow! You were dead. I saw you die. I was faking. I used ninja focus to slow my heart rate down. What are you doing? I'm burying you. I'm alive, man. I'm alive. You're waking the neighbors. No. Shut up. No. no. Now I'm gonna play your drum set. With that being said, we did find a spot. It's really pretty awesome. It's about six minutes from my house here in Kingwood. We have two bays. Now, this first bay right here, this whole bay is gonna be dedicated to our big custom YouTube builds that we plan on doing for the channel. And then we have a whole another bay this is all gonna be for doing install videos for eco batteries, AC kits, like this, this cart right here. This is a very weird one. So we have a tailor done. The customer said, hey, it's slow. I want it to go fast. We drive this at the beach. My family loves it. I wanna put an AC kit and a lithium battery. And I was like, sure. Yeah, I'd never done one in a tailor done. So I guess we're gonna see if we can make one fit. As I'm sitting here driving this golf cart, all I can think of is the wheels on the bus go round and round and round. And this thing is absurd, man. It's slow. Oh, this it feels thing is like ridiculous. Good. I think we're doing. We'll long arrive long. to Mardi Gras next year. Yeah, well, yeah I don't even know if it makes it by next year. I think we're doing a four I've always wanted to go to Mardi Gras on something small. Maybe next year. We'll make it just I don't time. know what this thing is going to do when it goes 30 miles an hour. This is kind of.
Look, this is how fast we're driving. So worried about it. Up on the brakes, some things are sketchy. And I got pretty eyes. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So, in this bay right here, now, guys, when I moved in, this thing didn't have light. I had to install lights in here just so that we could work on carts. We got our first victim here. We had to do an old M core swap on it, we got it running good, got to drop it off. And like I said, the Taylor Dunn, which is going to be a full on project. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know how much fun that's really gonna be. I've never worked on one. I guess we'll find out. But as you can see, I'm still st sorting through stuff. I mean, I got batteries here. I've got AC kits here that we still gotta put, put up. I've got tools spread out. I mean, luckily I have kind of gone through and I got to, you know, reorganize some of my tools. I mean, yeah, I don't think I have enough socket wrenches, guys. They're definitely in there, I mean. Good thing is I got sockets to go with them. But we are set up, and like I said, now we have a full bay just for YouTube. Now the nice thing about this shop is we do have three offices, which as you can see, we're still slowly moving into. They are nice and air conditioned because you know, it gets hot here in Houston. This is gonna be my office eventually, as soon as I get all my desk and this is where all my filming stuff will go. And yeah, right now it's a, it's a hot mess. But this room right here is probably my favorite. Like I said, this is probably my favorite room. We now have a full on dedicated cable room. Every day we're in here building cables. That way you guys are able to run and get your AC kits put in. You can see we go through a lot of boxes. Got my boy here laying down some heat shrink, working hard as ever. Of course it wouldn't be you know my shop without that. Still got our wall of color here, still adding new color in all the time. And right now you can see all my filming stuff is just kind of laid out. And you might be cool if you have an eco battery sign, but you're not really cool until you have the Southwest, Southwest, South Carolina crew sign it for you. Now that you've seen a little bit of the shop, let's talk about what we have coming up. Now, I've had a lot of people reach out to me that told me that the DSAC install video really helped them out. Now, I get a lot of questions about, hey, what happened to that cart? You never did a video to show us what, what that cart did. Well, that cart was supposed to be my cart, and it was for about three months. It was gonna be my hunting cart. I got it fully built, I took it hunting, I had a blast in it. It was on lead acid, but it was perfect. And then my daughter was like, Dad, we had to sell my cart, can I have another one? And I said, well, sure, which one do you want? She said, well, I want your hunting cart, you know. It's the only kid I got, so what was I gonna tell her, no? So I did what any dad would do, and we started building her cart. Now, she had a really nice easy go, and unfortunately I had to sell that cart, and she'd always wanted a club car. Now, guys, I don't know if this says anything about me as a parent, but my daughter could drive a golf cart at six years old.
she literally learned how to drive a golf cart before she could ride a bike. So I figured, you know what, this time she wants a club car, we'll go big, we'll go nasty with it. She picked all the colors, she picked everything. Of course, you know, she also picked the most expensive set of wheels and tires you could put on a cart. She picked an expensive paint job. She picked an expensive set of seats. She's literally me in a younger female version. I mean, she's me made over. Just a lot prettier. I mean, I'm not bad for 298 pounds. Okay, 300. Just get off my back. My bad. Guys, I wanted to show you all the progression of this cart. I pulled this cart out of a field, and then it was my hunting cart. I had it built with an AC kit and a long travel. Then it was a race of the pines champion when my wife was driving it. And then my daughter wanted a pink cart with big rear wheels on it. And now you can see why I have to build my wife a cart because she keeps trying to tear Jolie's apart. This cart pulled a trailer to the beach and I will say I'll never take another personal car to the beach. So you just heard me say I would never take another one of my personal carts to the beach. Let me explain why. We put a ton of hours into this cart I polished the entire frame. Everything on it was brand new when I built it for her. As soon as we were done, we went to Port Aransas for the 4th of July weekend last year. And literally as soon as I got home, everything on this cart that wasn't aluminum started to rust. Uh, the bolts in the dash rust. The bolts in my steering wheel were rusted. The heim joints on the long travel rusted. It was just kind of a, I'm not gonna lie, man, it's kind of a kick in the nuts. I was pissed. I spent a lot of money on this cart and now it doesn't look like it should. There's rust in certain places. Now, is it rust that's gonna hurt anything? I mean, you've seen this car yank a wheelie. I am nervous every time this front end comes down, one of those hums snapping off, which is why I wanted to show you guys this cart. We are gonna start off with this cart. We're gonna be building this cart again, doing a couple minor things, touching up some stuff, uh, adding a new set of wheels and tires. We're gonna lift it a little higher. The main reason is we're gonna be building my wife a brand new DS that's big and crazy and custom. And the girls wanted carts that kind of match each other. So we're gonna take the real wheels off of Jolie's cart and we're gonna lift it up another three or four inches and put a set of mods 14 by 10 chrome assassins mounted on some 30 10 by 14 falcon ridge ascents now the wife's cart has a custom paint job it's a ds as well we're going to be going with a set of black assassins on hers with the same tires now the next video we're going to show you guys exactly how we're going to get the lift up now remember her cart does have a jake's long travel on it so while we're doing this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna upgrade the Himes to a beefier, stronger Heim. These are gonna squeak less and they're just a lot stronger. So next video, we're gonna start on this cart. Like I said, we're gonna lift the back end up four more inches. We're gonna adjust the front. We're gonna put some new Himes in. Now, this cart also has about $2,000 worth of audio in it. Now, I know you're sitting there going, Ryan, what in the hell costs $2,000? Well, the cart has two 26 inch sound bars and two Eco X gear subs, one under the seat and one under the back seat. Now, I'm probably gonna leave the subs in there for now. I am gonna take the sound bars off and we're gonna go back with conventional speakers and a head unit. Uh, the reason is she just wanted something different and I'm too big of a, you know what, to say no to her. <laughs> but we're also gonna be doing new steering wheel. We're gonna be pulling out the dash and getting rid of those rusted bolts and try to get this cart back up to where we want it to look when we take it out. Not only that, when I start on my wife's cart, they want matching carts and that's fine with me. So my cart's gonna kick their cart's ass anyway. So guys, just as a reminder, if you don't follow us on Facebook or TikTok or even on YouTube, this year, like I said, we're gonna be filming a lot more. We're gonna be getting a lot more content out. And you know us, if you follow us on Facebook, we like to give stuff away. So naturally, we're gonna give away stuff on YouTube and TikTok as well. I mean, last year, we gave away AC kits, eco batteries. We gave away a set of Mods Assassins. 
I mean, we give away stuff all the time. It's like, it's like we can't find anything better to do. Yeah. So guys, make sure to follow us, like us, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, even the old Instagram. Yeah, we're still on there. I don't know why. I'm not 20 years old and I'm not ripped. Till next time, guys. Go modify.